In this presentation, we're going to look at how Analyzer Pro XD was used to automate the comparison of coffee beans to objectively see if there was a measurable difference between coffee samples from multiple geographical locations. Coffee beans are grown in over 50 countries. The Arabica bean accounts for approximately 60% of worldwide production and Robusta is approximately 40%. As coffee is one of the world's most widely consumed beverages, coffee beans are a major cash crop and an important export product. In some developing nations, exports account for over 50% of their foreign exchange earnings. As such, it is vital that those importing the coffee beans are getting the authentic product. For example, Robusta is a more robust bean and it also matures faster than the Arabica, therefore it is cheaper. The purpose of this talk is to present our data processing workflow to objectively see if there is a measurable difference between coffee samples from different geographical locations. For this, we use high resolution Headspace GCMS and process the acquired data with Analyzer Pro XD. For this experiment, we acquired five replicates of coffee beans from Indonesia, Ethiopia, Guatemala, and Brazil. Sample prep was a simple headspace preparation, starting with one gram of coffee added to 50 milliliters of boiling water. After it cooled to room temperature, 10 milliliters of the supernatant was spiked with two microliters of the internal standard parabromofluorobenzene. Finally, we took two milliliters of the solution and sealed it in a vial for analysis. We analyzed the data using the JL Acutoff mass spectrometer in both EI and field ionization modes. Field ionization was chosen as a complementary ionization technique. Since it offers little fragmentation, it gave us the option to look at molecular ion species. Here we can see typical total ion chromatograms for the FI data channels from a sample in each of the geographical locations. At a quick glance, it is obvious that the samples are very similar. When we overlay the absolute TICs, again, we can clearly see how similar these files are. On further inspection, if we take the first section of data and zoom in around 50 seconds or so on the normalized traces, we can see we get a better indication on how subtly different these files are. Given the subtle differences we've just seen, how can we take a deep dive into the data to see if there are any hidden components that will help us differentiate between the samples? First, let's consider two components that are fully resolved. A simple peak detection of the TIC will result in two components. What happens as the components become partially resolved? Well, depending on your peak detection algorithm, you may or may not get two components. Finally, what happens when we have unresolved data and the components are overlapping or we have partial coalition? The solution, especially when looking at a non-targeted workflow, is to use a chromatographic deconvolution algorithm. In our solution, Analyzer Pro was able to accurately and automatically detect both components in each of these three cases. Faced with the challenges of comparing very similar samples, we need a way to objectively process the data in a reproducible manner. For this, we used Analyzer Pro XD. Analyzer Pro XD is a vendor neutral data processing application. From the native MS data files, Analyzer Pro can process the data in a non targeted, targeted, and quantitative manner, or any permutations of these. Once you have processed the data, we can then automatically generate a matrix of results. The matrix is a list of unique components with the areas for each per data in the sequence. 
using the matrix, we are then able to visualize the results and use different statistical techniques. In the case of non-targeted and targeted workflows, we can easily export a quantitation method to allow us to reprocess quantitatively to calculate absolute concentrations as opposed to semi-quantitative results reported in the matrix. The key, though, is the chromatographic deconvolution algorithm. Our proprietary algorithm allows us to quickly, repeatedly and objectively detect components without any prior knowledge of the samples. If we put the solid together, we can see how easy it is to process the data. First, we loaded the data files into Analyzer Pro XD to create the sequence. Then we added category information. Finally, we clicked on the process button. Once the sequence has processed, we switch to the matrix results viewer, where the matrix is automatically generated for us. Here, we can see the component name for the NIST search, or the created component if it wasn't found in the NIST library, or it failed to meet our search parameters. Here, we also report the areas for each of the components in the data files. This matrix was automatically generated, but it is also possible to generate a matrix from existing target libraries, and this is useful when looking for differences in specific components. The processing in this case used a retention time matching but retention indices could have also been used. From the results matrix, we are able to visualize the PCA score plot of the coffee samples. Using the category information we entered when we created the sequence, it is pretty clear that the data falls into four distinct categories. Furthermore, we can see that the Brazilian and Guatemalan samples are very similar to each other. We haven't had an opportunity to explore this yet, but the obvious theory is the similarity in the soil between Brazil and Guatemala. We also know that Ethiopia is the only country who exclusively grows the Arabica beans. Nevertheless, the PCA score plot shows there is a difference between Brazil and Guatemalan beans. To further explore this, we can use the Volcano Plot in Analyzer Pro XD. The Volcano Plot allows us to quickly see the significance and variation in the components between two particular groups of samples. Every component above the orange p-value line is considered significant. The green components to the left are absent in the Brazilian samples, and the red ones to the right are absent in the Guatemalan samples. Take, for example, pyrrole. When present, the retention time of the component was stable over the data set. Over the five Brazilian samples in the bar graph, pyrrole was found and was relatively consistent. In the Guatemalan samples, we can easily see that pyrrole did not exist. This is indicated by the red crosses in the RT display and the lack of data in the bar graph. Using the combination of PCA and Volcano plots, Analyzer Pro allows us to quickly compare how components behave over the entire sequence in an objective manner. In summary, Analyzer Pro is a powerful tool that can quickly and easily extract characteristic components using its chromatographic deconvolution algorithm to simplify the automated comparison of samples. And here we have shown how it has been used objectively to determine measurable differences between coffee samples from different geographical locations. Finally, I'd like to thank our friends at JO for acquiring the data and their initial work on the data set.